Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. While there was a magnitude 4.7 earthquake, according to EMSC, about 32 minutes ago, uh, they do have testimonies. USGS said it was a magnitude 4.4. I'm sure EMSC will downgrade this earthquake. And I'm sure there is damage, definitely sending prayers to those in Puerto Rico. Here is the location according to USGS and EMSC says it was over here. Yeah, both close to um, large populations of pe people. Uh, Limus, yeah, I'm sure there's damage and you can see this one has it on top of a hill and along fault lines along with the other one or the other location. Uh, we got another area over here heavily populated. Not far from a 4.9. Now that was on January 2nd. We have a 4.6. That was December 31st of last year. 5.4. Uh, that was May 2nd of this year from the Miratus Trough. This area you can see has been rocking and rolling basically all year from earthquakes. This area is capable of having a magnitude 7.1 or larger. In 1918 they had a 7.1 which created a tsunami that was 20 feet in height. Devastated the uh, coastal communities turn the shoreline to quicksand. In 1787 they had a magnitude at least at least a magnitude 8 earthquake and that was considered the largest earthquake in historic times to rock the region. The reason for all these earthquakes is the fact that the Atlantic plate is diving underneath the Caribbean plate and that activity mostly happens along the Puerto Rican Trench. And, to make things even worse, south of Puerto Rico, we have the Caribbean Plate, which is diving underneath the Puerto Rican area. That is happening along the Muretos Trough. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it translates to Trough of the Dead. Kind of fitting, isn't it? Some of the felt reports here on EMSC, it says it shook very hard. EMSC isn't translating them like they usually do. So I'm using Google Translate. He felt strong in Saab. Uh, GDE, I have no idea. Um, the cutlass of the buffet of my dining room vibrated, which is my alarm for more than a magnitude 4.0. Another report says small movement side by side while eating dinner. Strong delights in Ponce. This translates to felt strong in Ponce. Uh, object moving, door rattling, wife screaming. Strong vibration in Ponce Beach. This one just says strong. Table and house moved moderately. Felt strong. Strong. Sitting on my bed in Coto Laurel. I have no idea. They posted that twice. It was like two deep explosions inside the earth. The house jumped. And that came from a report uh, about 23, almost 24 miles away. Sitting on my chair, which started to shake for about one second. I think it was a 2.5, maybe a 3.1. Earth, just now, lasted one second, but shook my chair pretty hard. I am on the second floor of my solid of concrete house. All of a sudden, we're getting a lot of earthquakes since last night. Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. Strong. Uh, whoa. Felt it in San Sebastian. Another one from San Sebastian. La Playa shook my bed. 
Another report, 78 kilometers from where this earthquake occurred, says my television. And sofa moved 112 kilometers. Sure, a lot of people in bed early. So that would be about 69.6 miles. EMSE has already downgraded it to a magnitude 4.6. USGS has not changed their numbers, uh, but they're saying now 158 people reported feeling this earthquake. There is a moment tensor ball. Pressure came in from the south, the Caribbean plate. We can see how we got tension applying uh, going oh, northeast a little bit. Yeah, as this plate, the Caribbean plate, slides underneath Puerto Rico. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some damage. Yeah, that's strong enough to knock things off the walls. Um, unreinforced masonry would have cracks. Um, the foundation would have cracks, etc. If you did have um, power outages or things like that, if you are there, please put down what it sounded like, what it felt like. How long did it last? And I'm hoping that no one was injured. I'm praying that no one was injured. Uh, please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.